Perfection is absolutely a myth. And maybe instead of trying to show the world how perfect we are, we can show the world that we're broken and what God's doing through our brokenness. We kind of shift our mindset and shift the narrative there. It can go a long way in our witness for the Lord. Hey, welcome back to the Reflecting Redemption YouTube channel. I'm Acacia. I'm glad you're here today. I'm excited to bring you a new devotional. And this one is titled The Broken Cup. Check out the description box and you can go read it over on the Reflecting Redemption blog. And while you're there, you can subscribe and get my free devotional, 32 Days of Grace. And let's jump into it. All right, so this one starts with a story and I feel like all of my devotionals have an anecdote to them because I do feel like more of a storyteller than like a teacher. So that's kind of my goal. So I wanted to tell you the story of The Broken Cup. So we recently renovated our house and we have bought lots of new things for the house that had worn out in our old house and from our first nine years of marriage. You know, you don't have a lot. You start out pretty small. People give you stuff. You get things in your registry, but then you're like, oh, I can actually buy what I would like to have for my house. So I spent lots of time on Amazon and Walmart and different websites looking for glasses. Just eight tall, eight small, pretty basic, wanted some glassware for the house. So I was looking, actually found something I really loved, got them in, got them in the cabinet, have used them. Lo and behold, two months in, what do I do? I break a cup, one of the small cups. So in my mind, I thought, okay, um, I like the look of having eight cups in the cabinet each. So there's 16 total and they look really good sitting in the cabinet together, right? Uh, and I really dreaded throwing that broken cup away because it would mess up the look. It would only be seven little cups and eight big cups, which is just a travesty, right? It couldn't work. So I looked at it and I thought, you know what? This cup that is broken, I think it was in the dishwasher. It got like knocked or something. It was a clean break. It was like a V knocked out of it. And I was like, hmm, I have some Gorilla Glue and a little bit of time. So let me just fix this thing. I'm just gonna, no, can you drink out of it? No, but I can put it in the back. Nobody's gonna see it. And if anybody ever opens my cabinet or when I open my cabinet, I will see the perfect set of 16 cups. Okay, so I did this and in some strange way, God started kind of talking to me through that mindset that I had about hiding my broken cup in the back so everything still looked and presented the way I wanted it to. Um, we live in a world that's very aesthetically charged. It's really changed in the past, I don't know, five to 10 years, I think from what it used to be, maybe even longer. Everybody's always liked things to look good, but the aesthetic is huge now, right? Like I've got all of this stuff in the background for the aesthetic of the video and we just, we do all of these things to give a really nice aesthetic. We dress things up, we make them look good. We go to great lengths to keep things looking nice and presentable from the outside. Um, but when we peel back the layers, especially in someone's life, Nothing is ever going to be totally intact and perfect. And it really just kind of revealed that to me like, okay, this persona that you put on, this way you show up for the world, and it should be put together. We shouldn't just be sloppy and not put together. But the way that I show up for the world, is it an effort to hide what's broken underneath? And a lot of times I would say it is for people. Um, and that's okay because it's, pretty much a part of the human condition, right? We have brokenness, but it's not like we want to be vulnerable for the whole world to see. I made a video about being more vulnerable and how it helps you get through struggles. I'll link that down below if you're interested in some more conversation and thought on that. But essentially, this little broken cup made me realize that that's the way I approach things in life is if I can tuck that back there, nobody has to see it they don't have to know about it and I can still present as, okay, this is perfect. Everything's great. I'm not really sad. I'm happy. I'm not really frustrated. I'm all good, right? So we want to give off that, we want to give off that persona that everything is 
fine, totally fine. But often there's brokenness hiding underneath. And uh, I just wanted to kind of shed some light on that today and how God used that little cup to speak to my heart about how I might be approaching things in life. So every time I open that cabinet, I kind of have that thought of, I know it's there. Will they know it's there? If somebody sees it, are they going to notice the brokenness? Um, and sometimes when someone says, hey, how are you? And you're like, I'm doing great. Do you ever think, are they going to investigate that? Are they going to actually notice that maybe I'm not great, that maybe everything's not okay? Um, you know, just those thoughts kind of come to your head. How am I going to approach that when they, when they discover that actually there's brokenness back here? What are they going to do? Are they going to laugh at me? Are they going to judge me? Like how, how are, how are people going to react to that, to my vulnerability and my brokenness? And I think what we have to do is realize that everybody has it. And then we can step past that and start actually using that vulnerability to be a minister to each other and to get closer and to use our brokenness to show others, um, how God is faithful through that, how you can get through those things. So what God tried to show me is that maybe instead of hiding the brokenness, maybe I should put it right out front. Maybe the brokenness in me is exactly what someone else needs to see. Maybe that is exactly what is going to help lead them to Christ or find a solution through their situation or lean into their prayer life more. Maybe this broken spirit inside of them will not be so afraid when they realize that they're not the only one. Um, maybe they'll feel like less of an island and more of a community of people that are not perfect, but that have been through struggles and have had hard times. Maybe instead of pretending that we have everything together in life, we can show the world that we're beautifully broken and safe in God's hand. So God says in Psalm 34, 18, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. God uses our brokenness. He's close to us in our brokenness and he saves us through that. Brokenness makes us relatable. It makes us approachable. It makes us usable by God. Somebody who's perfect, you can't approach them. You can't talk to them. They've got it all together. You can't possibly let them see that you don't have it all together. And if we're projecting that as Christians, that whom oh, we're perfect, you don't really have it though. So stay over there. That's a really bad way to approach life because we're not going to be someone that another person's going to come to in a time of need. We're not going to be someone that others are comfortable um, being witnessed to by we can't have an effect if we can't show our brokenness. So in my experience, when I come at life from the perspective of, I am doing so great, I must really be uh, helping people. That generally is the time when I'm really ineffective and pretty useless for the cause of Christ. But in those times of brokenness and vulnerability, even though it's uncomfortable and it feels a little squirmy, I know that at the end of that, I'm actually more effective for the Lord than I could be if I'm saying, look at how great I am, because that's not what people need to see. So while I won't be moving my broken cup out front, I really won't. And it is still there and I'm leaving it there because it makes me happy. While I won't be doing that, I will be, every time I see it, I will be reminded of the brokenness in my life and how that's not something to be ashamed of or to hide, but it is something to put on display so that people can see the realness in me and also see the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God, the strength of God in my life. Because when I'm weak, he is strong. And when I'm broken, he is whole and he is our everything. What is the broken cup in your life? What is the scenario or situation that you've walked through, are walking through that um, you can use to display your brokenness to others in a way that's relatable, understandable, and helps people not feel so alone. Share that in the comments below if you're comfortable with that. And if not, then just embrace the thought of being more open to being broken today and more open to being vulnerable to those around you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this devotional. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.